guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, since it is summer vacation, is going to be 10 tips for dealing with your period on an airplane. To avoid a period horror story because this is coming from someone who just took four plane rides this summer and on one of them I experienced kind of my own little period horror story which I will share with you guys but I never realized since it was like my first time having my period on a plane, I never realized the struggle that comes with like having your period on a plane. It's actually really really horrifying and I wish that I had these tips that I came up with after I experienced this period horror story of my own to avoid having that happen because it was not fun. It was not pretty. I'll basically tell you guys what happened. Basically I was on a eight hour flight, seven eight hour flight and I was on my period and this is probably my fault because I was wearing like really loose fitting underwear which isn't good. If you have a pad on you want to make sure it fits so that you don't like leak out of it but I was like being super cautious but I was wearing light brown pants. Don't ask me why I'm really stupid when it comes to my period like I should have worn darker pants Basically, I was on the plane and I went to the plane bathroom because I thought that something wasn't right or that the pad wasn't on right. So then I have to wait in the line for the plane bathroom and then I go into the plane bathroom and I realize that I have a huge fresh stain on the back of my pants. And I had just walked down the whole plane aisle and everyone had probably seen it. So I freaked out and I probably spent like a half hour in that plane bathroom. I feel so bad for everyone who was behind me in line. As I share my tips, I'll tell you basically like what I did and like what you can do. But basically, I did everything everything I could to like try to get the stain out because they're my favorite pants. Luckily it didn't stain so take my tips in this video but I basically had to you know tie my sweatshirt around my waist and I was then really cold because it was cold on the plane and I had wanted to wear my sweatshirt so then I had to like use the plane blanket and wrap it around me and yeah it just wasn't fun and it was really 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 heavy. Like you'd think with all the travel I was doing that summer my period would have been delayed or postponed but no. Let me just say it was a nightmare because there I was sitting there I had to keep getting up and going to the plane bathroom to like change my pad and make sure it was on right. I could not wait to land. Anyway, I'm going to start with my 10 tips so that you can avoid something like this happening to you and just feel better on an airplane when you're on your period. So my first tip is to wear dark pants or shorts. This seems very obvious. It wasn't obvious to me because for some reason I think I'm invincible on my period. I was like, oh, I'm not going to leak. I can wear my favorite pair of sweatpants that are light colored on my period. Yeah, no. Periods don't conform to what you think is gonna happen. So please, please wear dark colored clothes and don't wear something that's your favorite. I don't know why I did that. Like next time if I'm on my period on a plane or just in general, I'm not wearing my favorite pants. My second tip, which, oh my God, I wish I had this, is pack an extra pair of underwear and pack an extra pair of bottoms. I did not do this, of course. You'd think that with all the period tips videos I'd make, I'd be smarter when it comes to myself, but nope. So make sure, cause if you do leak through your underwear, you don't wanna sit in like wet, bloody, underwear on the plane especially if it's a long plane ride so make sure that you have an extra pair of underwear and also if you leak onto your pants an extra pair of pants now you might be wondering where do you put the stained pairs of underwear or pants after you change out of them that is why my next tip is to bring a bag in your carry-on for any stained clothes this is really important because obviously if you have to change in that little cramped bathroom like you don't want to be like holding your clothes so make sure that you have a bag you can just put the clothes in there and you don't have to worry about it once they're stained and then like when you get to your destination you can wash them and then you'll like know where they are and they won't get all over everything else in your bag So like make sure you have somewhere to put them if you do need to change this next tip saved my life and my potential Embarrassment always bring a sweatshirt to tie around your waist Even if it is super hot wherever you are going or like the plane is really hot have it in your carry-on Just make sure because you don't even have to wear it. Just tie it around your waist I would not have survived if I didn't have it because I had to tie it around my waist or everyone would have seen a huge Like wet spot on the back of my pants. Honestly like best tip ever just tie a sweatshirt around your waist. Have one to do that with. My next tip is to bring tons of pads and tons of wipes with you on the plane. These are all like tips if you know you're gonna have your period on a plane, but I would even do this even if you don't know, just in case like you get your period on the plane. Some planes have pads. Actually, thank God for the plane I was on. They had like a little compartment with a bunch of pads and I like used them even though I had my own, but I'll get to that. Basically, you just have to make sure that you have a ton of pads packed with you because you never know how heavy your period's gonna get and also wipes because I I wish I had had wipes. I only had pads, but you can use the 
wipes to like if it's kind of leaked onto your leg a little bit or like you just want to feel cleaner like you can use the wipes down there my next tip is to layer your pads this is what I was talking about when I said that I use the plain pads I basically put one of those under my pad because I was so worried because it was so heavy but layering your pads you have to do it really carefully so that there's no gap and it doesn't move around tightly like layer both of your pads so that you don't leak through because when you're on an airplane you're sitting in like one spot for a while so like the blood is like concentrated in one spot so layering your pads can really help prevent leaking now this next tip is for if you do feel a leak which is of course worst case scenario aka what I went through if you feel a leak go to the bathroom and dab cold water on it this is how I did not stain my pants and it's two components you have to go right when you feel the leak because then the blood hasn't settled into the fabric yet and also cold water I use the sink and some toilet paper and I just kind of dabbed it so that I could get like the blood out like you want to it's so like gross to like say but like you want to see the blood on the toilet paper and like keep just trying to like get it out obviously don't spread the stain and like really rub but just do your best and then obviously the water will spread so of course tie your sweatshirt around your waist so that you don't have a huge wet spot wherever you leaked my next tip is to change your pad more than you think you need to this is something that actually really helped me I kept going to the bathroom and seeing if I needed to change my pad I know it sucks having a period sucks you know what being on this plane and having this experience made me wonder as I looked around at all of the men sitting on that plane wow they would just never have to worry about this it is really annoying to have to constantly be aware of this when you're on your period but yeah just constantly make sure okay could I leak is my pad about to overflow and change it more than you think you need to because it will help prevent leaking so of course it's not good to like be wasteful and use a bunch of pads but in this circumstance if you're on a plane I would recommend doing so my next tip is to bring a blanket on the plane to sit on it or wrap it around yourself so this is basically kind of what I did and if you can't bring a blanket if you're on a long flight most planes give you blankets but for example when I tied my sweatshirt around my waist I was cold so I like wrapped it around myself or you can sit on your blanket in case you're worried about like leaking through onto the seat so that's just good to have like just have a blanket or if you're gonna bring your own blanket make sure it's a dark color and my last tip doesn't really have to do with like having your period on a plane per se but basically the tip is don't be concerned if your next period is thrown off because travel can really do this to your period and your menstrual cycle I will link a couple articles down below on how travel can affect your period because it's true like it can really affect your period and throw off your cycle so I'm just saying like if you've been traveling recently my tip is don't stress just don't be concerned because if you're traveling if you're about to go on a plane I'm just warning you your cycle might be a little thrown off obviously if it's like really thrown off that you should probably talk to your doctor about but I'm just saying like a couple times when I've traveled my period has been really thrown off because what it messes with is ovulation so if you've already ovulated then it probably won't be but if you're like about to it might kind of interrupt that or delay that and your next period might be late or it might be early so I just wanted to warn you guys about that anyway guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching it I really hope that I was able to give like a comprehensive overview of what to do if you have your period on a plane I know I didn't really talk about like how to deal with the symptoms of a period like cramps and stuff on the plane but that's like more you can do that easier like you know you can take pain medication if you know you've talked to your parent or guardian about that if you have cramps or like if you're tired you can sleep on the plane but what's really difficult about planes is like the actual bleeding process so I really wanted to like deal with that in this video but if you guys have any more questions about having your period on a plane I've had to deal with it a lot so definitely feel free to leave your questions down below and I will answer them I always respond to all of my comments as much as I can and I really really love helping you guys out and I'm so excited to be posting more this summer I miss filming and making videos for you guys so much and also if you're watching this you're probably about to go on a plane or something like that so safe travels I hope you have an amazing vacation wherever you're going and so yeah before you leave please like this video and if you made it to the end of this video comment down below planes and periods do not mix and also please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I make so many other period related videos I have a huge period playlist on my channel and if you're interested in hearing like other people's period horror stories I have a whole series on my channel I should probably do like another episode of it but I do a whole series where I react to people's period horror stories I have my subscribers submit their period horror stories and I read them and react to them so if you're interested in hearing more period horror stories definitely go feel free to check that playlist out as well and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it and I love you guys bye